came up against us at close quarters last season. Did that play any kind of part in your thinking? Uh, I guess so. Like I knew, I knew he had a good squad, but uh, not not massively. Um, See, so it's nice. Like I know, what, like some of the boys. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Who are the familiar faces here? Um, Zach Brown. I played with him. Well, I trained with him a couple of years ago. And uh, well, to be honest, that's probably best worry about it. Yeah. Well, if there's going to be one, Zach's yeah. a good start, isn't he? <laughs> Um, yeah, just talking about last season, it's interesting because I guess Kings then came up against Kidderminster at kind of probably the lowest ebb in the league game at, at the Walks, and then also in in the playoff games where you know that was a, a, a different uh, a different side of things altogether. How do you contrast those th those two games? Yeah, they were, yeah, it was very different competition. Like I remember the first game, I think it was on the bench, but it was a very it was a comfortable game for us. Um, and then and then the game here, it was like again that was it was a really tough one. I, it was one of our, I think, I think one of the most even games he played, and then over there, and then the the, the semi final was, that was a, a day to forget. I think for, for yeah. us. Yeah, it's easy for us obviously to look back at that very positively, but of course it was a disappointing end. To to be honest, what was it, a, a pretty good season all round for, mm -hmm. for you and, and the club you were with? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't wasn't the way we we thought we were going to finish the season, um, but that's that's football, that's the playoffs. It's just whoever turns up and and Kidderminster turned up. Yeah. Talk to us about your kind of footballing background, because obviously a, a football fan, a football mad family, and and you you've played a lot of football in and around this level as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Started off at Portsmouth, and then I obviously had a couple loans to that like non-league. Um, signed for Notts County, I was there for a couple of years, and then I was kind of floating around um, looking for clubs. Had a couple of injuries, and then like had a good had a good run the last two years with Aldershot and uh, Kingsland. Yeah, what's this level like for you as a player that's experienced a few different levels? Because non-league football's progressed a lot in the last ten or fifteen years, but especially this division now. Yeah, I think, I think especially, especially now that not not kind of the Wrexham have gone, it's a very even league where kind of any anyone's in with a shout of going up. Um, there's no there's no easy games. Every game's a fight, a scrap, and every game you're gonna get kicked around. So. Yeah, it's a good contrast in that sense, isn't it? You get a bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If some teams who are non-league, the definition <laughs> of non-league is ugly games, and then you have some games where you might get passed off the park, or you might pass them off the park. But it's a good competition. What were your makings of, of the manager? Obviously, as we just talked about, you've come across him, come across him over the course of, of last season. But you've obviously met now and, and had various discussions and things. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think I had any interaction with him during the games or remember much. Um, but the, the chats I've had with him so far have been really, really good. It's uh, it's always nice to be wanted, and he made me feel really wanted. He was really keen, um, and he he, he uh, seems to know where he wants to go with the club, where he wants to take the club, and how he wants to play. Yeah, so many players talk about when they come in, you know, they can see the ambition of a club and they can see what the manager's planning for the future. How would you describe what it is that he wants to do here? To be competitive, obviously, but and how does that come across to you? Uh, I think it just it seems very professional. Like everything he's doing, everything he wants to do, and everything they've got set up is like really professional. Not just for this standard, but for leagues, League One, League Two. It's, it's like that par with that. Um, and I think when when you say standards that high, results and performances just come with it. Does that give you a bit of peace of mind as a footballer as well? I mean, you use the phrase floating around at, at some point in the last few years. You've obviously got a couple of years here now, and you've talked about it being a professional setup. All of those things are important, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's for me. It's like it gives you the confidence that you know, you know, you're going to get the best treatment that you can. You're, he's not going to let you slack off. He's going to stay on you and make sure your your standards and your performances are where where they should be. You're obviously quite versatile, capable of doing a good job in a number of positions. Have you got a particular favourite? Um, if I had to say one, it'd probably be holding midfield. Mm -hmm. I don't have to run too much. <laughs> I could just get the ball and pass it. But I like I like I like all parts of the game. I like running at someone one v one. I like defending one v one. I like getting on the ball. So. I'm, I'm, Football, football, wherever you play, it's, it's fun. And this stage of the season, when pre-season is almost upon us, and the new season isn't too far away, what do you look forward to most? Is it just getting amongst the lads on day one, um, or the end of pre-season? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing I look forward to. Um, I think the first game of pre-season, it's always, it's always like, oh, okay, this is what you've been building. That's what I've been running for all summer, and then it's your first one to hit the ground, and hopefully, 
Yeah, hit the ground running. Yeah, those match minutes are important, aren't yeah. they? Because you can do as much of the hard work and the graft on the yeah. training ground as you like. But something about having a, a ball in that in that game environment. Yeah, it's uh, you can feel as fit as you think you are. But yeah, as soon as you're running around and playing against 11 other people, it's it takes a little while to to get to that match fitness again.